This is the Dan District Center located in Kandahar Province. On March 30, 2009, a suicide bomber blew himself up inside its newly renovated walls. Nine people were killed. The center was intended to provide a seat for the district government, bringing the government and residents of Dan closer together. The destruction created a major setback and residents were faced with a tough choice. Should they give up or should they rebuild? As you can see here, the Dan community chose to rebuild instead. With the support of Canada's Department of Foreign Affairs and the Department of National Defense and the government of Afghanistan, the center reopened its doors seven months after the explosion. Overcoming this setback is not only a symbol of the community's resilience and the fortitude of its people, it also shows the resolve of the Afghan government to bring services to its people. Today, an increased security presence supports a dedicated district staff. Together with representatives of the provincial government and with the support of Canada, they are set to deliver basic services to the Dan District community. The Dan District Centre is more than just a building. It sits at the very heart of the community and is a place for residents to learn about projects in their village and to speak with the leaders who serve them. Here they can share their views on activities that affect the lives of their families. The district center will house representatives from a number of Afghan government departments, including those who deal with the community's most pressing needs, agriculture, irrigation, education, health, and reconstruction and development. The reopening of the Dan District Center highlights the success of the Afghan government in reaching out to rural areas beyond Kandahar City. There are already many projects underway in areas such as education, health, agricultural development and other essential services. These improvements show some of the progress the Afghan government has made in delivering services to its citizens. It also shows that Canada is there to support them. A report from the Provincial Reconstruction Team in Kandahar.